Can you get Cab Calloway on it? Because he's going to be this huge. Patty, 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 who was a veteran, but mentioned in that video that I was going to edit and camera shot some of her portfolio book that I shared with you guys in that video. And I just didn't get a chance to get around to it before I posted the video. So thought I would do a Cinema Coffee Fashion Friday update today and go through the book. So we're going to go through the book real quick and I'm going to like kind of talk through some of the things that I'm going to show you guys, including one of the letters from me to my mom when she came to visit my class. The spelling, the grammar, please keep in mind, this was a child. <laughs> so let's take a look. All right, so starting with the front of the book, which is just some newspaper clippings that she had saved. This one I have shared with you guys in the video, as well as a copy of the, of the newspaper with the second page that followed the continuation of the actual write-up on my mom, as well as some more copies of newspapers that she was in. This one says painting over problems and then flipping through. And we see this one from me. Dear mother, I hope you can come back to school. Thanks. Oh gosh. Okay. A thanks a latte. Okay. Thanks a lot. It's supposed to be a lot. It was great. I want to be, oh, an artist. Arts. When I grow up, is it fun being an artist? I hope it was fun. I love you very much. Are you going to draw another great famous picture? Can you teach me how to draw someday? Love, Dominique. All right. The grammar on display here is embarrassing, but okay. A child. So work with me. Thank you for visiting second grade. I think your pictures are great. I liked the one with the mothers waiting at the gate. I wonder if I could buy one of your pictures. I wonder if I want to be an artist when I grow up. Going through just some more here. Okay, so this one's this one's kind of cute. Thank you very much for visiting with the second grade students about arts. I'm not, okay, about art. I like your beautiful paintings very much. I like the way that you painted your paintings, so colorful. I like most of your paintings the best. All right, so here's another one. A lot of people wanna be an artist when they grow up. I really enjoyed your talk for us. From your talk, I learned some things about being an artist. Your drawings are great. It's probably fun being an artist. When I grow up, I might be an artist. I really like to do art, so I probably will like to paint. It is so good of an idea to imagine things in your head, then draw it. I hope, okay, you have to work with me on some of this. I hope you can, okay, I hope you can come next year because I can keep on enjoying your lectures. Okay, here's a, here's, here's, we're going to share, we're going to share one more here. Thank you for coming. I enjoyed your art. It was very pretty. How can you draw so good? I wish I could draw just like you. Have you teach Dominique how to draw? She can draw good. I wonder if I can draw just like you. And this being the, the picture that they drew, so. Okay, at least I'm not alone with the spelling. Thank you for coming to our school. I think you make good pictures, but it's very creative way that they spelled pictures. So that's fun. Okay, so we have to read the Batman one, right? So this will be the, the last one I'll, I'll share with you guys. Thank you for coming to our school. We really enjoyed having you. Your art is very realistic. I like art. I hope you like my picture. It's Gotham City. Well, that's very Salvador Dali. All right, so that's all the letters in this portfolio. But as we move to the back, this might seem familiar to you guys who have followed me for a time. When I tell you I name all of my garments, well, hey, she named all of her paintings. Radio, D-A-Z-E, love it. Radio Days, I, I, I remember that one. Peepin', I love that one. I remember that one. Let's see that baby. Oh, yes, okay. Do we still have, no, that one's, 
that one's gone. Yeah, that one's gone. I remember that one. Just waiting. I don't know if I remember that one. So I'm sorry, clean up, bedtime. Tired feet, she still has that one. She does have a copy of it. And this one, another article from the paper that my mom has a copy of. And I love that she says, my art gives the viewer that grandmotherly type image. Back to basics is what I call it, with characters and expressions you can relate to. And I love that she goes on to say, as a girl, I noticed that all the art in many homes was white art. I wished for paintings and scenes that reminded me of me and my surroundings. Okay, they do spell her name, her last name wrong. It's E-N-R-I-D-G-E, -E, but we're going to let that slide. And she goes on to say, they've been very fun and entertaining and people seem to enjoy my work. Yes, they did. And lastly, she goes on to say, I think my work reminds everybody, young and old, about something. My characters are people you can relate to, but not actually anybody you know. I love that it says, artist pitches works Tupperware style. That's, I kind of like it. Ending it off here with some of the sketches I had showed you guys, the jazz scene, the, just the sketch to kind of get an idea of how she wanted the jazz painting to go. And here's some more of her sketches. This one she called Wash Day. This is just the sketch. The original at the time had been sold. This one I showed you guys in the video, the actual painting of, of this one that she has. This is like supposed to be a school. Kids, children playing in the school. So those are just some of the sketches and this is just some of the pages out of her book. Okay, you notice the one theme that I have noticed when I went through this, this entire book Everyone wants to be an artist when they grow up, or everyone wanted to be an artist when they grew up. So I don't know if that's just what you say when you're a kid and someone comes to speak. I want to do that. Maybe and that's that's the good thing, right? That's the encouraging thing. Like that's why we have guest speakers to come, so you can maybe put a, plant a little seed into their brains. Then hopefully, maybe one of those one of those kids who are listening will take some of that and use it to mold their future along the way. All right, so that's it for this week's updated Cinema Coffee Fashion Friday. Until next time, be well, be safe stay healthy stay smart and I'll see you next time I'll be in town in my head I keep hearing the pussy cat dolls when I go off okay wrong cinema coffee can you get Cab Calloway on it my patty way by the way how is your father but I want to know you have does it bother you